Well, this week marks a year since an East Denver matriarch was lost to gun violence. Ma Kang immigrated to Denver from Myanmar and in her time here made a big impact in her community. Her death galvanized the East Colfax neighborhood to demand changes. But as Michael Abeda reports, violent crime is actually up in the area near New Freedom Park. Just one year after a beloved community member was killed in this neighborhood off of Yosemite and Colfax, residents say not enough has been done to make it a safe place to live. In a year? Ask Delphine Keniston what's changed in her neighborhood since her neighbor was struck down by a bullet and she has to do a little thinking. Not? Maybe a lot of thinking. It's basically still the same without the gunshots. One year ago, businesswoman Ma King was killed by a stray bullet while she was unloading groceries outside of her apartment on Xenia Street. Residents finally had enough. They spoke out against not only the crime and violence in the area, but also the community for ignoring it. People are still traumatized by the death of Ma King and also by some of the other criminal activity and violence in this neighborhood. But we're trying to leverage and mobilize people as a result of those tragedies. Sharon Knight, president and CEO of Hope Communities, the nonprofit that manages the community Ma Kang lived in, says they've worked with the city, police, other nonprofits, and neighbors to make the area safer. They installed new brighter lights on their property and in the park across the street. They also added halo cameras and increased foot patrols. Delphine admits it's not all bad. The lighting is much better. So far, so good. But she says she still feels like leaders could do more. If you're going to tell the police something, I wish they would listen. Sharon Knight says her organization is determined to continue their work if they can secure the proper funding. It will be ongoing. We will not give up. Meanwhile, Delphine thinks the responsibility doesn't just fall on the shoulders of those in power. I would like to see more um, tenant action. Both management and neighbors say this area needs more funding for things that will make it a great place to live. Things like recreation centers or more parks. They're hoping that those who are accountable to them, that is lawmakers who make policy that affects this area, will stand up and take notice. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.